Hey SWAG team! Kamusta po kayong lahat? I am recording this video because I want to exactly show you how you can get an SMM internship, SMM Social Media Manager internship, and yung actual training talaga na kailangan. Um, well, I have two reasons bakit gusto kong ibigay sa inyo yung um, way, like definite steps. Anong gagawin ko? How to get a work as a social media manager and well our uh, first question palamuna is bakit social media manager social media manager is one of the roles um jobs na talagang in demand there are so many uh businesses na kailangan ng social media manager and maraming kakabit na social media manager i mean maraming kakabit na <laughs> Uh, na position when it comes to social media manager. Uh, meron tayo tinatawag na social media content creator. Kapag content creator ka, ikaw yung gumagawa ng videos, gumagawa ng um, minsan mga articles or minsan mga images, graphics, ganyan. So, yung social media manager, minsan meron niyang kaakibat na skill din, which is kaya mo bang gumawa ng content. And then, another thing is yung mga social media managers na gumagawa ng mga ads. Facebook ads, o kaya naman nagsiset up ng mga chatbot, yung mga ganyan. And then, meron din naman mga social media managers na sila yung tinatawag na community manager. Yan yung sila yung mga sumasagot ng mga messages. Ay, yung mga kapag may mga nag-message sa page, sila yung mga sumasagot. Or kapag may nag-comment, sila yung mga sumasagot. So, ganun yung mga... Um, ibang iba't ibang roles ng mga social media managers. So, how can you get actual internship or actual training sa ganung passing job? Um, well, when I was starting, um, alam niyo yung kwento ko, di ba? Like, um, I was a call center agent and um, nagkasakit ako. Um, nagkaroon ng maraming pasa yung ilalim ng pa ako to the point na hindi ako makalakad. So, I needed to find a job na kung saan kahit sa bahay lang ako pwede ako mag-work para mas support kay yung family ko. So that's the story. Um, and fast forward ngayon, I am a social media manager, pero nagsimula ako as a chat support. So the reason why I am sharing you all this knowledge, itong mga tutorials ko, it's because alam ko exactly kung anong feeling na nag-start pa lang. And um, wala kang computer, wala kang internet. So <laughs> Salamat sa inyo sa credit card ng ate ko at ako ay nagkaroon ng computer and yung first na sahod ko, yun yung pinambayad ko ng bill and uh, yung sumunod na sahod, yung bayad ng computer, yung mga ganun. So, ganun yung naging journey ko. Pero, the reason why, you know, I'm doing all these tutorials is para mabigay ko kayo ng guide. Alright? And yung internship na sinasabi ko is yung actual training is very important. I have very very two important reasons bakit gusto kong um, I want you guys to start right okay um, kapag ka nag-apply ka sa job na hindi mo alam ikaw lang din ang kawawa alright it's because uh, businesses they get people on their team because gusto nila yung sinali nila sa team nila can solve problems okay so you guys, uh, although lagi ko sinasabi that the number one skill is to become a person who knows where to find answers, right? Pero kapag ka nagsimula ka from zero, as in wala kang kaalam-alam kung paano mag-work as social media manager or kung ano man yung ina-applyan mo, it's difficult for you to get a job. Or lalong-lalo na, let's say, uh, nakalusot ka, nakakuha ka ng job, but it's very hard to sustain that because clients especially yung mga small business owners they are always um, very uh, particular sa performance mo kapag ka hindi nagbe-benefit yung business sa iyo dalawa lang yan either mamamatay yung business mawawalan ka ng work or ikaw ang ifa-fire ni client so i want you guys to get actual internship or actual training para kapag ka nag-onboard kayo kay client alam mo talaga kung ano yung gagawin and I always say that you have to pick the battles that you can win. That's why I started as chat support. Just naging virtual assistant ako. Then from virtual assistant, I became a social media manager. So I want you guys to see the importance of actual training. 
alright? Pero, alam ko yung sinasabi ng mga isipan nyo, paano nga akong makakakuha ng experience? Wala nga akong, wala nga tumatanggap sa akin, right? Like, it's an ending um, loop of, you know, frustration because you just, I can't start. Paano ako makapag-start? Wala akong experience, right? So, that's the always, that's, always the question of a lot of people. So, the first thing that um, I want to tell you is kailangan mo ng um, actual training, which is isusolve natin mamaya. Paano natin yung magagawa? And then, the second reason bakit importante yung training is this is the very essence of your career as a social media manager or as a freelancer. Yung training mo, yung actual experience mo, yan yung puhunan mo. Okay? Although may mga basic na mga skills na kailangan kang matutunan, which I will discuss then maya-maya. Pero, yun yung gusto kong sabihin. The reason why you need actual training is because, unang-una, kailangan ng mga businesses ng experience. Kapag alam mo mag-solve ng problems, madali ka makakuha ng work. Second is, This is our career. Ito yung essence bakit ka freelancer because of your skill. So, hindi natin to pwedeng i-shortcut, okay? Hindi pwedeng mag-pretend tayo na marunong tayo kung hindi tayo marunong. So, yun yung dalawang reason. So, so let's solve the problem. Paano ako makakakuha ng internship kung wala naman ako work? Diba? At hindi ako matanggap sa work kasi wala akong experience. So, I always say that you have to create your success stories. And success stories, sometimes hindi yan kailangan from a professional background. Or, um, and sinasabi ko dito, kahit hindi ka graduate, kahit, alam mo yun, kahit uh, matagal kang nawala ng work, okay lang yun. Because dito, ang usapan dito is experience and yung knowledge mo talaga. Can you actually do the work? Ganun yung tanungan dito. So, wala silang pakialam sa back. Sa, sa educational background mo. As long as you can do the work, you're good. So, how you can get the internship is you need to be on part of a team or maybe a business owner na naghahanap ng mga pwede niyang i-train na, ng, ng work na yun. Pero hindi lahat ng mga businesses willing na i-train ka, di ba? But we have this platform. It's called Acadium. Acadium is a platform wherein businesses are open to get um, interns. Yung mga, may mga alam na nakapag-training na kahit papano or may mga alam na konte pero wala pa silang professional background, then they are willing to, you know, to onboard you sa business nila, ituturo nila yung mga processes nila, and then uh, that na pwede mong magamitin as your experience. Kumbaga, yun yung stepping stone mo para magkaroon ka ng experience. For example, um, ito ah, experience ko, no? Sabi ko from chat support, naging virtual assistant ako. Yung unang role ko as virtual assistant is magre-research, magsasagot ng mga comments, magsasagot ng email. That that part, I can do that kasi customer support ako dati. Pero, nung nag-virtual assistant ako, I actually volunteered. Sabi ko, um, uh, maybe I can help you sa iyong mga social media uh, content and sa pag-research, paano ka makakakuha ng mas marami pang followers, yung mga ganun. And luckily, <laughs> napakabuti ni Lord na uh, yung client ko na yun, he, talagang inanin niya ako, um, pinakita niya sa akin kung paano niya ginagrow yung social media page niya. Meron siyang over half million na followers. And um, tapos, I'm just watching kung paano niya ginagawa yun. And then, doon ako natuto. Hands-on training ang kailangan. So, for example, kailangan. Nakita ko doon na sobrang importante ng content. Valuable content is the essence of, kumbaga, sabi ni Gary Vaynerchuk, um, if you guys have been following me, you know that I love Gary Vaynerchuk. So, sabi ni Gary is, um, in order for you to grow your social media presence, you need to have content. Content is like water na tinitilig sa halaman para mag-grow. And I want you guys to see the value of that. So, if you can create a content for your client, that's one problem that you can solve for them. Ano ba yung mga examples ng content? 
content is video. So, kung pwede mong aralan yung video editing, you guys can do that if you want to know how to edit pictures or paano uh, magsulat ng articles, yung mga ganun. You guys can create content. That's one problem that you can solve for your clients. Alright? Pero, um, yung sinasabi ko kanina is, you get actual internship. So, yung mga ganun bagay na ano, na paano gumawa ng content, paano ko makakagawa ng example na yun, so, or ng experience na yun. So, um, yung iba dyan, gumagawa ng sarili nilang social media page, kaya din yung ginawa ko. In order for me to show or to prove that I am a social media manager, I created Work at Home Geek, right? Yung mga natututunan ko dun sa client ko, I put it into application. Hindi lang head knowledge, right? So, pinut in into practice. So, nag-practice ako, gumawa ako ng content, nag-isip ako kung paano ako makapagbigay ng value, practice, 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 and from 0 to 15,000 or 16,000 na kami, na I, I have 16,000 followers. So, that's how you do it. Okay? Um, yung Acadium na sinasabi ko is, um, that's a platform na pwede nyo um, puntahan. Pero kasi guys, Acadium, hindi kayo basta-basta ma-accept dyan kapag ka zero ang iyong resume at walang-walang-wala. So, right? At ngayon pa lang, gusto kong sabihin sa inyo na lagyan nyo ng laman yung resume nyo. Okay? Kailangan nyo lagyan ng success stories yung resume nyo. So, uh, pwede kayong gumawa ng content maybe volunteer ka sa church gumawa ka ng content or maybe meron kang business dyan and maybe you can use that gumawa ka ng content um, or maybe you guys are uh, siguro meron kang hobby or volunteer ka sa isang organization you guys can create content for that social media is something that everybody can learn as long as you put your heart and soul na matutunan kung ano man yung mga bagay, kahit ba, gaano kahirap yan. Alright? So, that's that. Um, mamaya, uh, actually, dito sa description ng video na to, I will show, uh, I will give you the link. Pag-click mo ng link na yon, ibibigay ko sa inyo yung link ng Acadium, yung link ng SMM Handbook, and yung um, aming one-page BFF uh, na blueprint. Okay? That's all for free. Ikiklik mo lang yung link na yun. Alright? So, um, gaya ng pangalawang sinabi ko kanina, you guys have to um, work on your, uh, tawag dyan, uh, sinasabi ko na uh, pangalawang factor is your success stories. ba? So, how do you guys create your success stories kung wala pa talaga? Diba? As in zero pa. You guys have to start from scratch like yung iyong communication skills yung iyong uh, knowledge sa mga tools na alam mo magaling kasi minsan yung iba sa atin um, you know sobrang basic na alam natin that's why kapag pinagamit tayo ng ibang tools or ng mga tools na pang edit ng video mahirap natin matutunan because we're not tinatawag na tech savvy right so yun yung mga bagay guys that kailangan natin um, matutunan. Kailangan natin napigyan ng oras. And, um, I don't know if you guys can relate sa akin, pero um, when I was starting, wala talaga akong diwala sa akin na parang, bakit ko pa ito matutunan ko pa ba ito? Diba? Bakit pa ako pupunta dito? Eh, ang gagaling na nila. Diba? Sabi nila, the best time to plant a tree is five years ago. Diba? Kung sana lang inaral ko yan noon. <laughs> Pero meron pang second best time. The second best time is now. So you guys have to uh, dedicate your time, use your time wisely ngayon pa lang na kayo ay, um, let's say, wala pa kayong work or nawalan kayo ng work. Mag-aral kayo kung ano yung kailangan aralan. And dito sa Open University na nakikita nyo, I have... Um, show, I will show you kung paano like, as in from from scratch, paano kayo magsisimula. So, dito sa Open University, meron kaming mga free courses na binibigay, mga tutorials ko. 
So, uh, freelancer essentials, and dyan yung mga freelancing platform, saan ka pwede mag-apply? Ano yung laptop na bibilihin ko? And may mga dyan, uh, paano mag-set up ng uh, professional work email address? Or ano yung mga, or, uh, or paano, ano yung mga tools, online tools, ano yung browser, ano yung file, ano yung Google Drive, ano yung Trello? So, ito yung mga basic na bagay na dapat alam natin. And ito yung mga basic na mga mindset. Like, I want you guys to start right. Dapat yung mindset natin tama. And then, freelancing journey here. Ito, freelancing journey is my most, most, most favorite sa lahat. Because sa freelancing journey, andyan yung paano, paano madidiscover yung skill. Ano yung, paano gumawa ng resume? Resume should have two things. Clarity and value. Kapag yung resume mo, hindi ko maintindihan kung saan ka magaling. Hindi ko alam kung anong kaya mo isolve sa business ko. I will not hire you. I will not even bother checking it. So, ayusin mo yung mga resumes niyo. Next is how to improve crappy cover letter. Yan. And then, job interviews, confidence, Ayusin yung work files, content creation training. So, may mga extra trainings ako na binigay dyan sa inyo. So, I've been putting my time and effort like two years. Uh, I started work at home gig 2017. So, up to three years na din. Oh, three years na. But, the main reason why I do this for you guys is because alam ko kung gano'ng kahirap. And, lalong-lalo na sa mga walang-wala talaga. And, I hope that you guys... Um, take advantage of your may isa kayong yaman na kailangan yung gamitin ng tama. That's your time. Okay? So, work and make sure that you maximize your time. Yung iba sa atin, busy lang. Laging busy. Pero, busy sa ano? ba? Diba? O kaya naman yung iba, lagi ako may ginagawa. Pero yung mga ginagawa natin, it's not really moving us forward doon sa mga um, ginagawa natin. And alam mo yun, yung mga pangarap or yung mga goals natin, busy lang tayo. It's not really moving us forward. And um, like ito, tas meron ako dito, career path training. Career path training, these are Um, set of, uh, for example, creative artistic skill. Kung ano man yung gusto mong skill na, ano, um, yan yung mga links dito. Become a marketing manager, yung mga ganyan. May, ano to, these are paid, paid, um, paid courses. Kapag natapos mo to, magkakaroon ka ng certification sa iyong LinkedIn account. Okay? yung kung wala ka pang LinkedIn account or hindi mo pa naririnig ko ano yung LinkedIn account. LinkedIn account means um, it's a platform kung saan nagsasama-sama ang mga applicants na gahanap ng trabaho at yung mga business owners. It's a social media platform. So, kailangan nandun ka and maayos yung, yung, yung profile. And one of the ways on how you can um, get a certification is itake mo yung mga courses na pinakita ko kanina. Whatever it is the career path that you will take. Which leads me to my second point. Yung sinabi kong second reason, bakit mo kailangan magkuha na actual training? Bakit mo kailangan um, matutunan talaga to? It's because this is your craft. Ayoko guys that you will be working with someone na hindi nyo talaga alam po ano yung ginagawa nyo. Like, nagpapretend lang kayo na alam nyo pero hindi nyo talaga alam. So, it's important that you study. Huwag kang mag-shortcut. Alam ko pa ulit-ulit ako, but I want you guys to keep in mind that you cannot fake your clients. Pwede you can fake them for a short period of time, but you cannot fake them for six years or, alam mo yun. And in order for you to have sustainable income and nag-grow na income, is you need to grow your skills. Yan yung essence ng freelancers, yung skill na kaya mong i-grow. So, para sa akin, or ako, ang ginugrow ko is my social media marketing skills. I have skills wherein I can create social media strategies for my clients. I can set up 
you know, chatbots, their Facebook ads, I can create their website, sales funnels, marami akong alam. But, hindi ko natutunan yun in just one sitting. Okay? Hindi ko yun natutunan in, alam mo yun, na bumila ka ng mahaling course. I have to work my way by, you know, researching and natutuwa din ako sa mga clients ko kasi kahit na virtual assistant lang ako noon, they've let me, um, for example, so website nila, uh, kapag may kailangan ako matutunan or gusto ko matutunan, I tell my client, oh, maybe you can um, uh, teach me or kung walang time si client, ako yung mag-aaral and kapag may naaral ako or may nabasa ako, sabihin ko kay client, hey, I was able to discover this. Do you want me to uh, check your website? Ganyan, ganyan. So, that's how I was able to build my skill ng pakonte, konte, 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 konte. Alright? Um, I want you to, I cannot emphasize enough kung gaano ka-importante na you really give time sa pag-aaral. Um, sa mga nagmamadali, gusto agad mag- makakuha ng trabaho, um, maybe kung talagang magaling kayo, matutunan nyo agad, di ba? Congratulations. Pero, um, I know for a fact, in my experience, na kapag ka hindi ka talaga nakakapagbigay ng value sa business ni client, aalisin ka niya. Alright? Pero, na-experience ko din na kapag nakakapag-provide ka ng value, kahit pandemic na, hindi ka nila aalisin. <laughs> that is something that I'm really, really thankful kasi, alam yun, pandemic na, yung mga businesses ng mga clients ko, most of them are affected. But, they are not letting me go so work ko because they see the value. They see that ako yung tipo ng tao na hinuhon ko talaga yung craft ko so that I can give value to the business. Because, hindi ka naman ikikip ni client. Hindi, hindi naghahanap ang mga client ang pasusweldohin lang. Naghahanap sila ng mga tao ang pasusweldohin nila para yung binigay nila na sweldo sa it will return to them like 10 times or how many times more in order to grow the business. So, yun yung gusto kong sabihin sa inyo. So, um, yung essence natin as freelancers is yung ating skill. Ngayon, ang skill ko po is social media marketing and I was able to grow it uh, through uh, different trainings. So, if you guys are looking for a place, start starting point kung paano ka makakapag-work sa bahay is, tandaan nyo yung dalawang advice ko, get actual training by going into Acadium and then own your craft, mag-aral ka, mag-improve ka, gumawa ka ng success stories mo, and embrace your career. Um, kung lahat, kung, kung iisipin natin na hindi ko alam yung trabaho na yan, and kung hindi mo alam yung trabaho na yan, yung mindset natin noon, di ba, aaral ka, mag-e-enroll ka, mag-aaral ka, di ba, magbayad ka, tapos, for how many years aaralin mo yun. Same as with as freelancers. Kung wala ka pa talagang alam, mag-devote ka ng time mo. Huwag ka masyadong atat. Huwag <laughs> kang atat and be patient. And kahit gaano ka small yung progress mo, you should be happy, you should be thankful. Sa totoo lang, kung ikaw ay may computer at may internet connection at hindi ka mapuputulan ng kuryente at, or ng internet connection nyo. You are blessed. And kung ang haharapin mo lang is yung hirap ng pag-aaral, that is something that I believe worth it na gawin because I believe na nakita nyo naman, work from home. Daming naka-work from home. And ako, as a testimony, kahit na may pandemic, hindi ako inaalis ni client. I can work sa bahay. Hindi ko kailangan mag-travel. I actually have a condition. It's called um, hereditary spherocytosis and may problem ako sa spine and may bukol yung isang uh, ugat sa brain ko and yet I'm here teaching you. Um, I have clients working with me 
na alam yun, kapag meron tayong kakayanan na mag-aral, mag-aral tayo. If you have resources na mag-aral, mag-aral tayo. So, those are the two things na gusto kong sabihin. And one last thing, ano ba yung SMM handbook na yan? Ano ba yan? Parang, saan, an, how can it help me, right? So, gaya nung sinasabi ko sa inyo kanina, I said that kailangan natin ng starting point na skill, di ba? And, of course, hindi naman natin yun matututunan agad-agad. So, let me just um, show you the SNM handbook. So, may password yan. You need to click the link and um, ibibigay sa inyo ni chatbot yung password, okay? So, this is the SMM handbook and I want you guys to um, oops no alright I got the wrong one. SMM yes, handbook. Hmm. Let me just repeat that. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Ayun ang ito yung SMM handbook. <laughs> so, ito yung SMM handbook. Sabi ko di ba kanina, like, paano tayo magsisimula? Kailangan natin ang starting point. So, magbasa ka muna and alamin mo muna kung ano yung mga dapat mong alamin. So, itong SMM Handbook, this is free. Kapag kinlik mo yung link dito sa description ng video na to, mapupunta ka sa chatbot, ibibigay sa iyo yung link ng SMM Handbook plus the password, pati yung one-page BFF Blueprint. Okay, yung BFF Blueprint, yun yung step-by-step, step, yung stages na kailangan mong gawin in order for you to get your client and magkaroon ka ng successful career as a freelancer. So, SMM Handbook here, andyan yung mga um, initial na pwede nyong gawin. And kaya ko to pinapakita is because I want to give um, review to un sa mga ano, sa mga nanood ng live session ko last Saturday. If you guys are not following me, I am doing live sessions every Saturday so you guys can um, subscribe or you guys can follow my channel or itong Facebook page ko so that every Saturday notify kayo when I go live and give training. So, ayan, pinapakita ko sa inyo yung laman ng SMM handbook. Um, uh, ito, so for those of you na saan pwede mag-aral, guys, yung Facebook, meron silang um, Facebook Blueprint. Facebook Blueprint is free. Okay? So, yung mga pwede nyo malaman sa Facebook, nandiyan na lahat. Okay? Hindi nyo kailangan bumili ng expensive courses. Kahit ads, nandiyan dyan. Specific IG strategy. Meron ako shinare na specific IG strategy. Meron din YouTube Creators Academy. Meron din Pinterest Academy. So, yan yung mga yan. Uh, tapos, nandiyan din yung ibang mga tutorial ko. Dito, tinuruan ko kung paano gumawa ng sarili nyo yung about me, kapag papakilala ka sa client, pati dun sa resume mo. And then, I've shared here strategy. Sobrang dami ko share dito, guys. Kayo na lang tumingin, okay? Uh, but here, yung mga nanood ng live session ko kahapon, or nung Saturday, is I, I've said na ano, na magbibigay ako ng how to create social media calendar on Trello in under an hour. So, ito yung process ko. So, hindi dito yung video, pati yung example nung spreadsheet, tapos paano siya gagawin sa Trello, ayun na yun. Tapos nandito yung notes natin nung live session. So, yan, yun yung gusto kong ipakita sa inyo that you know, this community is not just bibentahan kayo or what, okay? This is a community na gusto ko talaga kayo maging successful. And the reason behind that is because gusto kong i-share sa inyo yung love na binibigay sa akin ni Lord every single day na kahit mahirap ang buhay, kahit ako ay may physical condition, you guys can see that there's still hope na pwedeng-pwede pa rin magpatuloy kahit na parang feeling nyo hindi nyo kakayanin. And magpatuloy lang tayo sa lahat ng mga um, ginagawa natin. If you've been following me, tagal na. At napapagod ka na lang. Hindi pa rin ako nakahanap ng client. Lain, hindi pa rin ako 
makapasa-pasa sa interview, um, ang suggestion ko, nung una, finish the freelancing journey, mag one-on-one coaching tayo. Okay? And kapag nakapag one-on-one coaching ka na, um, you guys can uh, wait for the BFF training. Uh, BFF training is hands-on training. Pero hindi pa kami open ngayon. Pero yun nga, that's one way. And then, um, pag natapos yung freelancing journey, you can have one-on-one coaching with me. So, that's good. And then, BFF training, that's hands-on training na ginagawa namin mga admins. So, that's another one. And another thing, Open University is here. Huwag po kayong mapangod. And lagi po akong magla-live session to show that kailangan natin magpatuloy if you really want this to make to make it happen. Right? Alam ko yung iba sa inyo, um, maybe may work kayo or mayaman kayo and you can afford na, mm, ayoko na aralin yan. Pero sa mga kagaya natin na, we cannot afford it. We really have to work. Kailangan mo alagaan yung anak mo, kailangan mo alagaan yung health mo. You have reasons why you wanted to work sa bahay, why you wanted to become a freelancer, and I don't want you to give up on that. Okay? So, sama-sama po tayong magpatuloy, and be, let's achieve those dreams na gusto natin para sa mga sarili natin, para sa mga taong nakapagigit sa atin, and higit sa lahat. We have to stay strong because binigyan tayo ni, ng life ni Lord in order for us to glorify Him. So, mag tayong susuko and kumapit lang tayo sa Kanya. And we will make look, uh, we will make God look great. Kasi, sobrang tatag natin hindi tayo bumibitaw sa Kanya. And nagkakaroon pa rin tayo ng successful stories. That's a life that's very meaningful. And I want you guys to continue pursuing that and I hope that this act of kindness will motivate you then to help others so that marami tayo sa SPAD team community ang mag raise ng banner that we have to follow someone ahead of us and help someone behind us and never forget that God is always with us right so yun lang pong gusto kong sabihin sa inyo you guys have a wonderful day. Sorry wala tayong live session tonight at uh, today, pero I'll see you Saturday 2 p.m. Bye-bye po.